Hey, hello buddy, welcome back. Now grab your popcorn and the coke, we're gonna start our video for today. Uh, there is another little issue I found differences is uh, most of the people I meet here, they are feeling very shy, especially at the front of the camera or speaking in English. I do believe in the 21st century, in the modern city, being shy, initially it's it's just uh, your personal, your personality, yeah. But now it's becoming a problem. It is like a psychological problem. So I hope I can help you to fix the issue. You know, when I was a little child, probably I'm more shy than you. I don't speak. I am not confident when I'm, when I'm uh, at the front of a camera. But now, you see, it looks really shameless. And I know my English probably is very horrible. Uh, I, I never been to British. I learned my English from watching different movies. And uh, I believe if, if you are a native speaker, you can find a ton of uh, uh, grammar issue from my spoken language. But so what? You are still listening, right? And you get my point. That is the key point of communication. I've been traveling in many countries in Europe. Actually, here, if you, as long as you are not going to British, Speaking English is not, uh, it's not as easy as you thought. Most of the people, they don't communicate with you. One of the reasons is they are not feeling confident about their English. And then they, are feeling, they start feeling losing faith. And then it's easy for them to say no. You know, I have made one simple test. I, in the supermarket, I want to buy, for example, a soap. And that soap is at front of me. Uh, but I didn't say that. I, I didn't see that at that at that time. And I found a service guy. I asked him, "Hey, do you know where can I find this? Uh, where can I find a soap?" No, we don't have. No. Actually, it's not no. It's just easy to say no. Or maybe he's he just don't understand what you are talking about, and uh, he don't want to say, "Oh, sorry, I don't understand you." But anyway, it will always get a lot of a negative answer like, "No, I don't know." Oh, no, we don't have. But actually, they have that, and you're sure they have that. Uh, one thing is, uh, if you are that kind of a person, next time you meet a foreigner, you can try to suggest them to using uh, Google Images to search. Yeah, most of the time the Google Images is more helpful than Google Translate. You know what I feel when I'm uh, uh, sitting in the restaurant and ordering something? I do feel like a lucky draw. Uh, yeah, one thing different, in China, any restaurant, they're providing the menu with pictures. And suppose the dishes that you order need to be very similar or exactly the same like it shows on the picture. But here in Europe, there's no picture at all. So, and the description is very blurry. It says beef, beef meat with a mushroom and put some cheese. Okay, but you know, with those three things combination, we can make different tastes, hundreds of different tastes from those three elements. What exactly you mean? Uh, how it gonna look like? I don't know. So I have to choose one to see. That's one lucky draw. And the more horrible experience is when I'm calling food by phone for delivery. First, they don't have a mobile app, most of the case. Uh, I mean, as long as you are not ordering from uh, uh, Domino Pizza or uh, this kind of uh, international brand. If you talk about some local restaurant, well, they have in the delivery service, but they just don't understand what you're ordering. Uh, so, whatever you order, they will say yes, yes, yes. Like, uh, uh, I want a Swiss gold river, which means pork rib with rice, not with uh, fries. I don't like potato. Please don't sell me potato. And he say, they say, yes, yes, yes. And when it arrives, still fries. I don't know if it's because people don't care or just they don't understand what I'm saying. So, you know, every time now I'm ordering food, feels like a lucky draw. Sometimes they surprise me. Even you really made some seriously mistake, and don't be, f don't need to feel shameful. You are not that famous, you know. Even in some Africa country, they don't know who is the president of uh, Croatia, for example, and you are not a president even. So they do. They <laughs> Maybe people may friendly laugh at that thing, but uh, I don't think they will really remember you. So. It doesn't matter. Sharing you these stories not because of I want you to laugh at people how they speak. It's uh, I understand you. I also been passing through that period that I'm feeling so shameful 
uh, to make a grammar mistake. I believe even today somebody will comment, ah, it's a Chinglish, it's a, it's a bad, uh, how to say, very horrible English speaking. Doesn't matter, you're still listening, right? So this, this is not my last. So what? Hey, you know what? Uh, when we talk about speaking English, I just recalled at uh, years ago, we have a colleague who is uh, from Finland. Uh, he actually previously worked in Nokia company. That guy is very friendly, but uh, the English is really interesting. Uh, you have uh, hear about uh, maybe Italian accent like, uh, like that, uh, but this guy has a transformer accent. So when he's speaking, you feel like a transformer is coming. For example, he's speaking like, are you going to frost or north? Yeah, so he's asking, are you going to south or north? And that mister is the product manager. So every day we've been tortured by hearing his English. And this guy actually is very friendly and he's so much like t telling jokes. And we all get laughed. Not because the joke is funny, because of the, 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 the accent he's speaking is really make us thinking about oh the transformer is coming no the transformer is coming and uh, we fight for justice so guys don't be shy just speaking your english like you are hearing my english is not good and uh, torturing others even you speak like a transformer people will still have to listen to you and they have to get the point of what you are speaking about so you don't feel shame it will make them feel difficult Okay, enjoying torturing others by your English. Feel free and feel welcome. Not a problem. I hope you like this video for today. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.